Hey there, Jed Coverness here from JedCoverness.com, your trusted resource for all things health, wellness, and fitness. I'm an exercise physiologist coming to you from Roseau, Minnesota, small town, big opportunities. Come check us out. Uh, this is talk therapy, a tool that I use to get past my analytical mind, to think out loud, and put it all out there. Here we go. Weather today, 55 degrees. It is overcast skies, sunny-ish, right? Rained in the afternoon. Um, yeah, everybody loves to talk about the weather. It's a nice little icebreaker. Gets you past whatever awkward conversation that you need to have to get to the hard conversation, if you will. And that is with this guy right here, my ego. That voice that just completely says, you can't say that, you can't do that. What if this and what if that? And I'm like, hmm shut the hell up right I'm gonna hug you and love you and also tell you to shut the hell up like that's what it is and that's what this does for me it gives me an opportunity to think out loud here we go yeah so got done with the workout did the workout with a client and it was awesome she got to hear me whine a little bit, uh, you know, because it's, it's how it works. I'm human. We're all human. Exercise hurts. Exercise is painful. Uh, Muscular-wise, not joint-wise. But yeah, like, you gotta go through a little bit of struggle. It's how it works. And what, am, what is it, 28 days or whatever I'm on for 75 hard. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm really starting to see the the pattern of just living incredibly awesome, right? Like, whatever that is. But it, I still struggle walking by sugar and going, yeah, nobody would, nobody would even know. But I would know. And that's, and that's that ego. It's that voice right there sitting right beside me going, yeah, yeah nobody would even know. Like, like, nobody's even watching you at work. You could sneak that in and, and eat that Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So I sit there, and for a second, I don't sit there, walk by it, and go, fuck you, voice, right? And you do that enough, and it's never easy. Like, it's not easier. It just, the voice is smaller, is it? No, it's not even. It's just as big. It's just, like, it's always going to be there. It's not ever easy. If anybody's like, oh, you know, you can do this. Of course you can do this because you've been working out, you know, at least a thousand days before this. So this is nothing for you. Fuck you if you think that, right? It's not, right? It's, it's not, it doesn't come easy to me. It's just on the flip side of what I've been doing. Like, you put all of this time and all of this energy and all of this work into something only to give up. Like, it would be, like, the, the workouts of the day, the wads. I, I got it done. Like, I created an entire year program. And I wanted to quit so many times. I was like, nobody's even fucking doing these things. Zero people are, are doing them. Why do I even need to finish it? And then, you know, I've been doing them for four years in a row now. <clears throat> and every year, I get better, stronger, faster. Like, and it's just now that I turn up the heat. So, it doesn't come easy. None of this shit comes easy. I'm an exercise physiologist, and I, it, it's still, like, it doesn't ever come easy. The part that does come easy is the creativity side. Like, I'll create a workout that'll kick your ass every day of the week and I'm talking to myself and you and the person watching this <clears throat> and then execute on it and actually do it I can create a workout for anybody anywhere anytime no way like it, that part is easy for me I'll look at your deficiencies we will do some some testing we will get you evaluated baseline whatever you want to call it and then I will tailor a program for that then you gotta fucking do it that's how it works you can spend all the money all the money you want going to seminars learning the tools 
getting the tools, doing the tools. You have a toolbox, get your toolbox, more tools for your toolbox. Well, what do you, you have all these tools, then what? Are you gonna use them? It'd be like having a garage full of tools and you have the capability of fixing cars, like a mechanic, right? And you never fix a fucking car. You have all the tools. It doesn't make any sense then. But there are so many people out there addicted to the seminars, the new thing, let's try this, let's try that. And they start it, but they never finish it. So that's what it is. That's what I'm feeling today. Like it's just a complete honesty, just brutal honest of that guy, person, whatever your ego, my ego, sitting right here, your ego is in there somewhere, wherever it is for you, might be on top of you, might be underneath you, whatever, mine's right beside me, because I embrace that motherfucker, like, I will bring him in tight and be like, you want that Reese's peanut butter cup, no, here's why, I'm in charge, I get to do what I want to do, and that person has to adapt to that, not the other way around. That's empowerment right there. Like that empowers so much of your mindset. Because you just give in to it all the time. Oh, we can do it tomorrow. Nobody will know. You can fake online. Fuck that. You can't fake online anymore. You just can't. Now, the people who control the popularity, if you will... They can put you out there. They can shut you down. They can amp you up. Whatever. I don't care. I don't do this for them. I do this for me. And anybody inspired by it, awesome. So all the shit that's going down in this world right now, whatever. Doesn't matter. Do what you feel is right. That's it. That's why I do it. I couldn't find a year-long program. So I created one. It took me five years to get it done, but oh well. I created it and I do it. And then I found a 75 day program that complements it perfectly. And then I'm doing that. And when I complete that, I don't know what I'm going to do. I suppose I'll start over with it and just continue with it. Because it's fucking incredible. Like, yeah. You don't cheat it, because then you cheat yourself telling me that like oh yeah we can have we can have a Snickers bar do that I had at least a Reese's Reese's right like man Reese's peanut butter cup any of that every day why 440 calories in that son of a bitch what do I need that right now I could have that because I need those cal- I need calories like right now man like, I'm at 2,700 calories. Follow a diet is a part of it, right? Like, I'm just tracking everything that goes in my mouth and not eating sugar, right? Like, like I'll eat sugar, fruit, you know, shit like that. But, like, sugary shit that I consider a problem for me. Woo! You know? Like, it's still hard. It's still hard. None of this is easy. If you think it's going to get easier after a certain amount of time, you're you're fucking wrong. Like, just be honest with yourself. It's not going to happen ever. So get over the, oh, you know, once I hit Monday, uh, it'll be easier. Once I get through, it's never easier. I promise you that. It's never the right time, ever. Never is going to be convenient. It's not going to be. Now is, right now, today at this moment get up off your ass and do it that's the time that's it there's an excuse uh, I don't know how to I get I worked out in the back of an ambulance as an EMT I was in the parking lot of a holiday as an EMT at 2 in the morning like why because I knew I needed to get it done that's how it works Governation, I love you share this with somebody who needs to hear it like comment share you know this is what it is thank you so much Um, Yeah, I love you guys. And as always, if you're willing to change from the neck up, you will change from the neck down. I believe in you. Now it's your turn to start believing in yourself. Stay safe out there. Be blessed. Bye for now.